All right. It is time for us to go to the next world. We still have three to go here, Korriban, Nashada, and Onderon. Since I still don't feel like doing Korriban and Nashada's really boring, let's do Onderon. Yeah, that sounds fun, right? Let's go. Space traffic. Great. Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin. Patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. I don't feel like doing a chart part, so let's just go to the moon. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here. And there is much that should remain buried. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. He fought here once, and there are things here he must see. He fought here? Why didn't he say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Okay, I got cut off. What a shame. So, not quite on Duran, but close enough, I guess. Duxon, and yeah, we can't bring Atten because he has to stay behind and fix up the ship. So let's go with our competent party of 
Visus and Handmaiden. Because we out of all these people, who can actually, like, fight and not die? Yeah. So they gotta level up. Good for them. Well, I got a present for Visus. We have another lightsaber now, so... There you go. She's got two. And she also got a pretty decent level up, too. She now has Destroy Droid. She'll... Destroy droids! Well, there aren't many droids to fight on, Duxon. Yep. So I guess what enemy type is back from forever ago? That's right, Canox. Yay. Now, Canox actually could kind of hurt before, but now, not so much. Because we're, like, super high level now. And really, that's just kind of... Oops! Handmaid doesn't have weapon. Whoopsie! Let's just give her her staff. And she doesn't even need any weapon because she's just so powerful with hand hand fighting, but still, you know. I'm gonna give her a weapon. Yeah, she also has new armor, too. Oh, these Canucks still don't drop stuff. They do drop stuff, I swear. They're probably gonna drop stuff here. It's a little more common. But hey, Canucks not the only new enemies. Or returning old enemies. Here's a new enemy. Malraz. If I'm saying that properly at all. They kind of suck too, actually. Yeah, I mean, really, come on. We're Jedi. I mean, <laughs> well, mostly Jedi. Nothing can stand a chance against us. It's just that simple. Yep. Walking through these Canucks, of course. And did Handmaiden use Master Flurry just there? Wow! She actually used the other attack she's got. That's amazing. I I'm stunned. I'm flabbergasted. Also, I guess we could check out the other path. It just leads back to the ship. I don't think there's anything here, but it's maybe a couple Canucks or something. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a Canuck. And he's got a friend. <laughs> I mean, just runs up and just stands there. Oh, I am loving Stasis Field. It is incredibly awesome and useful. Well, look at this. This is great. And then again, like, we even need to use it on Canox. They're weak, but still. They have no chance regardless, so why not? Also, Vsus is getting her dexterity bonus crushed a bit by the armor she's wearing. I don't remember what it is, but for some strange reason... Or just some not strange reason, because I'm just stupid... I'm getting a really ridiculous dexterity or defense from Jedi robes. I don't know. Something about that. I just can't remember. There's like a thing about that, I think. But I just don't remember what it is. Oh well, Vsauce doesn't really get that bonus as well. So I'm going to give her my old decent jaw armor that I don't need anymore. So I've got Baron Doe novice robes. There is nothing else down there, so let's just go back up here. Yay, more Canox. I love... One-sided battles. Space battle is still going on. The Hawk's sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Yeah, real friendly. Well, hey, don't most welcomes in this game and people trying to kill me? They usually do. She used Flurry again! That's That's beautiful. She actually hit another Master Flurry. That's amazing. She's actually using her thing. It's great. Yeah, I can handle this myself. Hey, they're killing stuff off screen. God, I have a useful party. Oh, these Maras. I don't remember if they're actually able to actually do any real damage, but I'm pretty sure they're not. They're weak. Everything on this planet is weak, except for like two things. Two and a half things. Yeah, I don't know what that means. And let's just kill another Malraz. A weakness is revealed. A weakness is re a weak to everything. Wait. Wasn't that the Master Flurry aura on her hands? Red is Master, purple is improved. What is she... 
she using multiple levels of flurry? I'm on to you, Visus. I'm, I'm watching you. Some kind of glitch or cheat. Oh, so this is a Republic ship, eh? Yeah, well, good for you. You're a skeleton. It's great. Where is Handmaiden? Ah, who cares? So we can mess around with this computer a little bit. A couple things we can do here. Nothing too important, but hey. How much droids you can look at? Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Let's blow it up. No, I don't have no spikes. <laughs> that is the best thing. So you can blow these droids up to kill like a Canock or something. It's pretty pointless because we're walking through this jungle with no problem. So hey. Also, there's some people up there. Well, that's nice. Is there anything else we can do with this computer? Prepare the core. Forget what that does. Uh, uh huh. Didn't do anything for me, so let's just go. Yeah, let's just screw this. I'll just kill them the normal way. Oh, hey, handmaiden. You got unstuck from that droid then? God. How do you get stuck on those droids? Well, your little Chani training didn't help you there, did it, handmaiden? Oh my god, this is a Canox drop. Finally, they proved me right. Yes, Canox drop. Worthless stuff most of the time, but hey. These are totally Canox drops. And those droids don't do anything unless you blow them up. But oh, whatever, let's just go up here. Because there were people up here, remember? And also more Canox. Goody. This is some worthwhile combat right here. God, I am a Jedi monster. Look at this. This is going to be fun. So now I am a weapon master. So I can start learning all sorts of cool combat stuff in addition to having a bunch of cool force powers. I think it's a good build. That's just me. <laughs> it's getting choked. Oh, that's animal cruelty pieces. Again, I guess mowing them down with lightsabers too, so eh. It's a subset of what's in here. Alright, money. There's a bunch of destroyed droids and bones around here. Hey, detonator gloves. Those do that. There you go. Pretty good for someone who actually knows demolitions, but that ain't me, so let's move on. Even though I could learn demolitions, I'm not going to, because I really don't feel like using my skill points for every level for, like, 17 levels or whatever. No, not 17. Little fighting just ended. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know. You're crushed. I am crushed. I like it. He's funny, and I haven't used him in a while. I'll use him eventually, or something. You are no match for us. Let us test. is completely right. They are no match for. They're no match for me. There she goes again, using the Master Flurryora. She is totally using improved Flurryora. What is with her flurries? They're just glitchy. Visas, you're worrying me here. Oh no, three Duros. This is so scary. I may not be able to kill these three people. I better save my game or something, because this is just, this is just, this might be too much. Oh no, they're right there. I better save, because this might be a really hard fight, and I may not win, and I'm just, yeah. We're going to walk all over these guys. But I figure a save here and there will not hurt. Hey, how's it going, fellas? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna destroy these guys. Why did they let me walk up here? They should have opened fire as soon as they saw me. Don't let me fight back, you stupid. God, this is why you're gonna get stasis. And you're gonna get slowed. And you're gonna get stabbed. 
And you're gonna get spun and electrocuted, and you're just not having a good day, are you? Nope! Oh, hey, you wanna have a sword fight? Alright, let's go, come on. Let's see what you got. Oh, he's mine, handmaid, and he wants a sword fight. Let's do this. Let's. Oh, you stole my kill. And Maiden, I'm shaking my fist at you. Yeah. This guy had a heavy sonic blaster and two shields. It's great. You already found one of those blasters, but I guess we can see what it does anyways. Where is it? 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 There it is. Does that. Sonic weapons are weird. So there's the path to go to the next area. I think there's some items in this area here. Where are they? There's something. It's like a box. It's around here somewhere. Uh, there it is. There's another box on the ground there, but we can't open that. It's just there for decoration or something. That's a shame. Oh, I think there's something up here, too. Yeah, there's a young Boma. New enemy with, like, a third of his health. These guys actually sometimes can hurt you, but not really... Not now. I mean, if this is your first planet, then you might have some slight trouble on parts of it. But if it's like your second or third planet, then you'll be okay. You know, I mean, you should be leveled up enough to be able to walk through some of the combat. I mean, maybe if you were a sentinel or something and, you know, they're not super combat people. Yep, this is where the Mandalorian Wars started, I guess. Great. Sounds like fun. Is there a game about the Mandalorian Wars yet? That'd be a cool game. Yes, it would be a cool game. You heard it here first. It's never gonna happen, but hey. Let's go to the next area now. Cause there's the next area is actually huge. We don't we don't get to check it out in full yet, but hey. We get to check out a little bit of it. You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Gee, I wonder if he's a bad guy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh goody, more Canox. I was looking for more effortless victories. You know, they may as well just have like me walk through this area with just random experience popping up, because that's what the Canox are. There she goes with the improved flurry aura again. Why, Visus? Why? It just keeps switching back and forth. Something is wrong. And it's making me worried. Oh, whatever, here's a Malraz. And he's had a buddy back there. But there's more interesting things in this particular area. Way more interesting than these Malraz, because they aren't much of anything, really. Like, have these things actually hit us at all? I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't even care. Let's just go over here, because there's two neat things over here. There's a door, but also a body of a Mandalorian soldier, but it's a fresh kill. Hmm. That's interesting. Also, there's this large door right next to him. He has a... Ooh, he has a good blaster, too. Now, this door can only be opened with really powerful, boomy stuff, but I'm going to save my game. Because I feel like it. Yep. Now about this door. You can only open it with a thorium charge. I don't think we have one yet. Or if we did find one, I'm just forgetting it. Because you can find one on Dantooine, but I don't remember if we found one or not. And either way, it's much easier to find one on Korriban. So we're going to go to Korriban eventually, so... We'll come back here later. Unless I already have it, I'm just forgetting about it. She goes losing in proof flurry again. This is worrying me. Visas, you are making me nervous. 
with your randomly changing flurry auras. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Hey, a campfire! Let's go camping, you guys! This is gonna be great! Hold it right there! We've got you surrounded. Keep calm. Their weapons are not raised. I do not think they wish to fight us. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? Going camping, what does it look like? Jeez. We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? We expected as much. Few visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. So we're going to go to a Mandalorian camp, eh? Actually, we're not. We're going to do that next time, and I'll see you then. Take care.